Hello everyone, I, I know I'm sweaty and grungy and full of dirt, sweat and grit and all that kind of stuff and, uh, and all, but here is why I haven't posted videos the last day or so I had planned to, but it didn't happen. You can hear all the insects out here as well. So watch this video, hope you learn some new vocabulary and um, yeah, this is what's happened. Hey there students, today we have a very, very unique video that I'm going to do a short video on because, you know, how often are you going to be in this situation? So, I ran over something, uh, whatever this is, a snob or whatever, and got a huge puncture in my tire. So, I have to take my tire off, I have a jack right there, I already put the jack in. And now we're just removing all the lug nuts there. And it's like in order to do that, let's see, like they're all, they're almost all loose, but I have to put this in like this. And I got to step down on it like this. Oh, to loosen it. And there we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. I'm going to take this wheel off with this tire on it. So this is the wheel. This is the tire. I'm going to take this off. We're going to go ahead, get it replaced. I don't have a spare tire, so i got to drive somewhere to get a new tire. So got the jack. We're going to keep it going to keep it jacked up for a while while we get this done because we can't put it down because then it'll be resting on the brake assembly and all that. All right, so we got the lug nuts loosened. So now we just got to screw off all five of these lug nuts. There it is, over there. All right, I'll probably have to do this one by hand because the the tool I was using to uh, the lug wrench, this is a lug wrench. The lug wrench just kept on hitting the ground, so yeah, these are loose enough that we can just just unscrew them quickly and take them off. Okay, come on, come on, here we go. Okay, this is, I don't know what that's even called, but there's the wheel. We're gonna pull it off right now. So there is our tire. That wasn't a cheap tire. That was an expensive tire. We're going to go throw it in the trunk of this car and get it changed and put back on. All right, now we're at Walmart. Going to go in here and purchase the tire. Hopefully we can get one around 60 bucks. All right, so I got the new tire. Got it fixed. Got to go ahead and jack up the car a little bit more because now we got air in the tire. We got to push it up, plop it on there, and... Tighten up the lug nuts. Oh yeah, and by the way, I don't know why you couldn't think of this. This is a hubcap. I'm just used to old hubcaps looking like this. I'll show you a picture, but this is the hubcap. Okay, jacked it up more. Now let's get the hubcap on there. And make sure that is even with the valve stem right there. Let's go ahead, tighten up these lug nuts, lower the car and get on the road. There we go, tighten them up. May have tightened these up a few times, getting them on there nice and snug at first. Then once they're in there nice and snug and we have the oh we have the wheels on there, then once they're nice and snug, go ahead and tighten them up. Uh, I could just do this by hand for most of these. Tighten them up, lower the jack, and hit the road. Ta-da! The tire is on. The tire is complete. So, time to go. All right. So, in keeping with the dirty and gritty nature of this video, I'm just came from outside and just started recording right now. You know, um, I'm sweaty. I feel like crap and all that. I gotta take a shower, but I just don't care. I'm not one of those people on YouTube that care about my looks. I honestly don't give a rat's ass. But you know. 
Um, yeah, it's been a brutal day. And after doing about 300 miles of drive-in over the last, I would say, 12 hours, yeah, the whole idea, or even less actually, the whole idea of um, you know, coming in, making myself look nice or whatever for a camera wasn't high on my priority list. And honestly, I usually don't do that shit anyway. You know that. You've seen my videos. Anyway, I wanted to just say, if you ever find yourself in this position when you are in the United States, just make sure to safely pull your car over into a place that would maybe be easy for you to change the tire. For me, I was lucky. I was in a parking lot, so I could just go ahead and change it there. But if you're in a rural area, make sure that you have enough room. Now, obviously, you might not have enough room and you have no choice. So make sure you have some safety equipment to make sure that you can do that. Of course, you might want to check the tread on your tires. And I the tread on my tires has been pretty, pretty low. But, you know, you want to make sure that you have a nice, good tread on your tires. So just make sure you are looking for that tread and making sure that the tread is where it should be. But in my situation, it had nothing to do with the tread. It had to do with a knob being stuck. I mean, I didn't even know that until this morning when, I mean, this happened last night. I didn't even know that until this morning when I went to look. I was like, holy hell, that's what caused it. Okay, so that um, didn't have anything to do with the tread, but the tread was getting low and I did need to change my tires anyway. I guess that process is just going to be moved up the calendar a little bit sooner than I expected. So always make sure you check the tread. Now, if you are here in the United States and you need to get a tire change, you can do a few things. One, you can call a tow truck and tell them to either give you a tow or see if they have any type of assistance. Also, you have AAA. Uh, sometimes they offer temporary memberships while people are here, temporary insurance that AAA can uh, help you with roadside assistance if you are stranded somewhere and you need to get fuel or you need to get a tire replaced or some or you need to get a tow. Uh, they can do that for you. And finally, if you look on your car, depending if you own the car or not, uh, there might be a phone number on the window of the car that is a roadside assistance number that you can call. Like in my case, there was one for Kia. I just never called it because I knew I had to do this anyway. But if you have a rental car here, they probably give you a roadside assistance number as well. So make sure you take advantage of that. So stay safe out there. Make sure you are you know, safe and everything when you're trying to change a tire on your car. But I thought that this would be a Unique experience as far as vocabulary building. I'm not a huge vocabulary building type of person, though I am thinking about doing those in the future, but this just provided a unique opportunity that you probably will not see on a daily basis on any English channel. So thank you all very much. Make sure to subscribe and like if you like this. And if you're interested in taking lessons with me, go to davesenglish.com and sign up for lessons on the front page. I will see you later. Have a good one. Bye-bye.